work. It's Friday and I am heading up trying to find a bear and uh, maybe run into some shed horns. Always on the look for shed horns. Wait and see. You just wait and see. Watch and find out. Yeah. Sun's already gone down. I may have drove like a crazy person to get here. But there's one spot I want to check real quick before it gets dark. It's just a short little hike and get up to some grassy stuff and uh, check for bear sign real quick. And uh, I found some horns out here too. So let's see if we can find some and start this trip off right. All right, I don't know if you can see me, but it's uh, dark. I mean, still got a little pink in the sky, but if I got in the timber, I would need a flashlight. Wandering out through here, randomly just always walking on a deer trail. Came across these guys laying side by side. Either backwards, backwards three on the one side, or regular three on the other side. Let's see, hold them up. I hope you can see that. That's pretty cool. I mean, 10 feet off the trail and I couldn't see it, it's that dark. That's awesome. <laughs> right on. Found a couple horns tonight, right before dark, and tomorrow I got a pretty good spot that I've never been. It's picked out and we're gonna go look up there for some horns and as soon as I get past the horn spot there's gonna be some big meadows and maybe I'll run into some bears. It's gonna be a good day. Oh. Time to get up. Let's go for a little hike. I'm not actually carrying my bow right now. I'm just kind of checking out this quick little spot that I always wanted to look into. I'm not packing my bow because I woke up this morning and my arm wasn't really working very well. So I don't even think I can pull it. I'm afraid to try because it's pretty much excruciating just holding my phone out right now to film this. Chocolate bear. There he is, little chocolate bear. That one's a whole lot bigger. Uh, about 75 yards across this giant ravine. Even if I had my bow right here, I would not shoot him. I would not be able to recover. You see that? I 
that about. He'd be gone forever. That's a pretty nice bear. Right there in that dirt spot. And that's why I wasn't real worried about shooting him. I don't know how I would have got down there to get him. Nothing yet. But I got way too much gear on my back. Dangle bow. In case I see a bear out here, he better be 900 pounds because I'm gonna be a ways out here. He better be worth it. It's now to where I'm gonna start dropping down um, and I'm still gonna try to be quiet. Might be a bear in here. I know if I was to hike further out that way, I would get into some bears. Why would I be into some big bears? But I'm already four and a half miles back here and I'm just now into where I'm like gonna start looking around. And yeah, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. I don't wanna bite off more than I can chew with a big bear out here. So I'm gonna wander around this little secret honey hole right here below me. See if I can't find some horns and a bear. <sighs> Well, I just did a dumb thing. I uh, oh, spotted a elk horn down below me. So I went to grab out my phone and say, hey, I found an elk horn. There's no phone in my pocket. So I had to go about 500 feet elevation back up the hill to go look for my phone stupid so I'm gonna go back down grab my pack and show you guys this elk horn oh, is there an elk horn down there I don't know if you can see it but I gotta try to get off of this steep hillside here All right, made it down to it. There she is. Let's see what. Let's see what. There you go. Oh yeah. Nice five point. Oh. God, it'd be a little more steep. Pretty sweet. Nice. Well, we're like five and a half miles in here. Let's find some more. Well, I didn't uh, find the match. It's just in a spot where I'd, it's not like Rocky Mountain bulls that are out on some big sage flat, or it's just I mean, look at that stuff. You want to walk through that? It's nothing but chunky basalt and lava rock, steeper than crap. And every once in a while, there's a deer horn or an elk horn. Cascades are no joke. So yeah, I didn't find the match. All right, time to make my bed. Got a bunch of stuff just kind of got thrown in here. And so now we're gonna clean her out, 
make some dinner, and then I crash. Probably gonna, I got this actually service right here, so I'm gonna nerd out on Google Earth for a while and see what I can't figure out for tomorrow. One horn. It's a long ways to hike for one horn, but I'm not complaining because I don't find elk horns that often, so pretty excited about it. See what happens tomorrow. Leave the Jeep open for one second. I got every kind of bug in the world in here. Look at all them. I'm like, how's the guy supposed to sleep? Stinking little. Look at all those ones looks like big old mountain skeeters. <sighs> Moth factory. I'm awake! I'm awake. I'm gonna have some spark. If my lid would stay on. Yeah, I want the Jeep wanted some too. The steering wheel, the dashboard, yeah, everywhere wanted spark. Stupid. So I'm gonna have some spark along with the rest of the area around me. And then we're gonna go try to find a bear. Breakfast. Shed horns. In that order, unless the bear gets in the way. And then we're gonna do bear, breakfast, bear, and more bear. All right, well, no bears in the meadows. So, on to the shed horns. A little steep in here. So, I usually don't do that well in these grassy meadows. For the most part, the majority of the horns tend to be in the bedding areas near the meadows. <sighs> A little late on that guy. He might stay out here for the squirrels. All right, gotta be quick. I'd already glassed this spot down below me about four times in this brush because there's a bunch of beds. About the fifth time, I finally spotted a horn down in there. Let's go see what it is. Well, I hadn't even picked that one up yet, and I was looking around, and I see another one over there. Not a match, so we're going to spend a little time in here. Let's see what this one is. Pretty nice three-point. A little older, but I'll take it today for sure. Alright, let's see what this one is. Ouch. Ouch. Forget horn. These two, all day long, and then all of a sudden, bam, bam, there's two. So, let's look around right here find some more. Oh, well, it looks like that's about it. <clears throat> Head back to the Jeep. I'm all back and do some editing tonight. Three horns on the day. One chalky old burnt thing. And the last little three point and forked horn that were by, by each other's side. That's it. Worked hard this weekend. Three horns. Today. One yesterday. Two the day before. Not very good. But I had fun. That's all that matters. Alright, see you next time.